Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, this is a lab safety briefing for TST0914 General Chemistry. Okay, these are your lab instructors. The first one is Madam Siti Rubaini or Madam Ruby. Second is me, Sir Afif bin Arifin. And then third is Dr. Nurul Jannah, Binti Abdul Rahman. And fourth, Madam Latifah Muhammad Noor. Fifth, okay, Miss Noor Zida Rosli. And the last one is Madam Nadratul Huda Misrat. Okay, these are your lab personnel, persons who's behind the lab, uh, which have to make sure all your chemical uh, solutions, all your chemical apparatus are well prepared. The first one is Puan Norfiza Zakaria, Muhammad Zakaria, Assistant Science Officer. Second is Muhammad Faris, Cik Mat Saad, uh, bin Mat Saad, uh, Lab Assistant. And the third one is Cik Nurul Wahida Abdul Talib, and also as a Lab Assistant. So these two person, okay, are important for our lab, okay, our lab session. Okay, course learning outcome, CLO for lab is actually is in CLO2 which is dis display simple experiments as well as to interpret data in group which is LO2 in P3 okay okay as you can see this is our very beautiful lab manual chemistry books okay uh, practical objectives of the chemistry experiment are to give students a better understanding of the concept of chemistry discussed in lectures by carrying out experiments, plan and conduct experiments scientific scientifically and choose suitable equipment correctly and carefully. The third, observe, measure, record and analyze data to evaluate and deduce conclusions from the experiments and know the necessary safety precautions to be taken in the laboratory. Okay, next we go to the dressing for lab. So what do you need for your laboratory session? Okay, the first one is the lab manual, of course, lab manual. Okay, second is long sleeves. Okay, long sleeve lab coat. Close, okay, toes, heart, soul. Is that, okay, you must wear, okay, the close toes and also must be hard sole. Okay, for example, Crocs is not allowed. Okay, because Crocs is made up of rubber. So when acid, okay, let's say acids pour down on the Crocs, of course, okay, it will damage the Crocs and then it will contact your skin. Okay, and do not forget to bring the small towel, okay, for you to clean up the bench, okay, Calculator for calculation and also experiment flow chart. Okay, experiment of flow chart. Uh, you can see here dressing for lab. Okay, do's, don'ts, and do's. Okay, as you can see here, the difference between these two do's and don'ts is that what you can see here, this person it doesn't button the lab code. Okay, so wear it neatly, okay, nicely, okay, so that your safety is guaranteed, okay, it's guaranteed. So these are the examples for shoes. Uh, so as I said before, must wear a close toes, close toes shoes, okay, this one as you can see, sandal and slipper, of course, it's not allowed, and also for girls heels. No, it is not allowed. Okay, uh, whether sport shoes or like uh, of, uh, office office shoes, right? Okay. So this is example of Encik Faris wearing a complete, okay, a complete and um nice okay dressing for lab. As you can see, lab coat, okay, with uh close shoes, okay, close toe shoes. And then uh, with Google's, okay, don't worry, Google's will be provided by the lab and also the glove and also the face mask. Okay, this you need to wear 
okay when you have a face to face lab session okay face to face lab session so protective gear has to be comfortable mestilah selesa okay goggles gloves lab coat and shoes okay you must wear it all the time whenever you are in the lab okay when you, whenever you are in the lab you're conducting the experiment okay experiment flow chart this one okay consists of the method or procedure of the experiment should be prepared before the lab session using passive sentences okay either you you want to prepare it in words like this make it as a flow okay like a flow chart or you can draw it is up to you okay just that you must prepare this flow chart before you enter the lab and put it on the bench okay so mean, means that you are going to do the experiment to conduct the experiment just by looking your flow chart okay okay lab schedule for semester one session 2021 and 2022 so take note of the weeks that you're going to have your labs okay week two week four week 13 week 15 and week 16 so on week two you are going to conduct uh, to do experiment two okay since this is our virtual lab so we are going to do h5p interactive video via goals same goes for experiment three which is fall on uh, week four okay also via h5 h5p and experiment six okay so this one this one ph measurement and its application so practical and lab assessment you will need to hands on lab activity it means that you have to record your video doing the experiment okay do not worry the guideline or the uh, the guideline or the procedure will be given okay after this okay and week 15 okay practical experiment 5 chemical equilibrium okay h5p okay we are goals and on the week 16 you have online practical test okay what is online practical test i believe that this is already explained by your uh, lecture instructor okay which is you're going to have a test which cover the safety precaution and which cover the maybe a bit of calculation of from experiment 2 or experiment 3 and and so on okay Okay, this is lab rules and agreement you can find this form in your lab manual if i'm not mistaken in page 9 roman or 10 roman okay fill all these details name metric number class and lecturer's name okay read also all the rules okay written so by doing that means that you are uh, officially agree to follow all the laboratory safety rules for example, number one, attendance is compulsory. So if you cannot attend, you must have uh, a medical certificate or letter of exam uh, exemption. Okay. Uh, so number two, so when attending practical classes, you should wear a lab coat. Okay. Shoes are mandatory. Okay. Do not wear contact lenses. Uh, and then number three, safety is a priority. Okay, remember the location and proper use of all laboratory safety equipment including eye wash, safety shower and firearm. Okay, this will be brief once you enter the lab. Okay, for the first lab session. Okay. Okay, never leave. Okay, never leave an ongoing experiment unattended. Okay, always know the hazards and physical and chemical properties of the material used. Fourth, every student must check the condition of all the apparatus. You must make sure all the apparatus, okay, is uh, good to go, okay. And then be careful not to contaminate the chemicals. Okay, to avoid contamination, never put your pet on the into the reagent bottle, and never return unused chemical to their bottle. Okay, when pouring out reagents, hold the stopper in your hands do not put it on the table when you're replacing the stopper place it first at the opening to ensure that any droplets present do not split outside the reagent bottle 
Okay, take only sufficient amounts. Do not take the massive amount. So just take what you need to do, what you need to measure. Okay, so playing pranks and other acts of mischief are strictly forbidden. Please, please, please. Okay, do not. Okay, pranks or joking. Okay, uh, with your friends in your in the lab. Record of the result. Record the result of your experiment in your handout sheets of your jotter or logbook. Never remove chemicals from the labs or stockroom without proper authorization. Read the labels carefully. Turn off or lower all the Bunsen flames when not in use. Okay, and then handle compounds that emit irritating, uh, irritating vapors in the fume cupboard or fume hood. Okay, because we have fume hood in our lab. Okay, when diluting concentrated acids, always add the acids to the water. Okay, clean up small spills immediately. Okay, by using your small towel. Okay, keep your work area clean and tidy, and wash your hands and arms with soap and water before you leave the lab. And then sign and put the date. There are two copies of the lab rules and agreement in your lab manual. Sign both copies. Cut off the copy that has the scissors symbol. Okay? And submit it to your instructor before your first face-to-face -face lab session on week 3. So, in this case, face-to-face. Uh, -face. I believe that uh, still you have to submit this form. Okay? Uh, online lah. Okay? Online. Okay? When you have uh, the first session of lab. Okay? Safety in the lab is first priority. Check the condition of all the apparatus to be used before starting the experiments, whether it has cracked or not. Okay, use and handle all the apparatus with care. Okay, all apparatus and the work area must be clean after completing the experiment. Yes. Okay, and then report all the injuries uh, injuries to your instructor or lab assistant. Okay, so these are the safe lab practices. As you can see, treat every chemical as if it were hazardous. Okay, and be careful not to contaminate the chemicals. So, why? Why do we have to be careful? Because if the chemicals is contaminated, it will affect the result of your result. Okay, and then the last one is do not waste chemical. Okay, do not waste chemical. That, that is why you need to take, okay, just take the volume that you need. Okay, just take the volume that you need. Okay, cleaning lab apparatus. So, this, the first step is rinse every apparatus to be used in the experiment with distilled water. This is before you want to start the experiment. So, you have to rinse with distilled water. Okay, after that, after you have done the experiment, so what you need to do is, wash with a soap solution and brush with a suitable brush and then rinse with tap water okay you have sink on your bench okay rinse it with the tap water tap water and then with distilled water clean apparatus does not have traces of fat or oil on the surface so means that you have to make sure lah, there's no traces on the surface surface of the apparatus so let's see the lab schedule for semester one session 2001 2021 and 2022 so component here psychomoto and lab report okay five minutes video recording per student this is uh, referring to the um to the uh, experiment six that you need to conduct at home so type of question usually we will see Okay, so it, is, it is as a psychomotor assessment and also for lab report, there are some structured questions. So, these two cover 30 marks. Okay, 30 for psychomotor, 30 for structured and the weightage is 5% only. And the lab test, okay, the online lab test, online practical test, 30 minutes, only 20 objective questions which cover, which cover of your safety and also a bit of calculation. Maybe from experiment 2 or experiment 3. Okay, marks 40 marks. Okay, so weightage also 5%. So total up will be 10%. Okay, 10%. So let's see the common lab apparatus that you are going to use if you're having a face to face lab session. 
So we have graduated cylinder, okay, or measuring cylinder, okay, test tube rack, test tubes and rack, okay, and also beaker, okay, and then you have volumetric plus and also conical plus, okay. Usually volumetric plus is used for dilution, conical plus is used for uh, titration, right, okay, and then you have okay pad and also pad filler and then burette. Okay, and the titration plus. So this is the titration setup as you can see. Okay, this is burette and then this is the retort stand and this is the conical flask. Okay, so usually remember we do, uh, I believe that you have done the neutralization in uh, during school. Okay, your SPM which is burette is filled with acid and the flask, conical flask here is filled with base, with base and indicator. Okay. And then you have here Bunsen burner and then hot plate, okay, and working scale, okay, working scale, and then water bath, okay, and also wash bottle, okay. Uh, so at the end of your lab time, make sure you have complete the experiment results. Clean all the apparatus used properly and keep them back at their original place. Okay, wipe your workbench with small towel, put the stools below the bench. Okay, each of the group members must submit the hard copy of the lab report on the same day of the experiment. Clip all of the lab report of, of your group together. Let's say in one bench, you have three members. Okay, three members per group. So all of you, three of you must clip all the lab report, submit as one. Lah. Okay, uh, one clip, clip all your lab report. And submit on uh, same day of the experiment so remember safety first okay so chemistry lab apparatus usage video so in this video YouTube video you may uh, you may type it or you may refer to our channel okay uh, you can see uh, the apparatus usage okay we shown you uh, the lab apparatus usage video in this uh, channel in this uh sorry in this link video link so you may refer it so that is all from me so hopefully you you guys uh will have a safe uh lab session inshallah hopefully we can do a face to face as soon as uh, possible okay uh, and stay home stay safe assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh